All right, so there's been some news in Neopets. So an update by TNT is basically Rick and Morty like, oh boy, here I go, fucking up the economy again, because that's just what TNT and Dominic do. I've never just seen someone just not give a shit about the overall integrity of a game before, <laughs> like Neopets. It's such a dumpster fire clusterfuck. When I picture how someone who would run a crypto bro scam site would run like a older beloved Flash website browser game. This is like how they run Neopets the last month, nine months is just like just a chef's kiss. Just mwah, like just run to the fucking ground. Just like, oh, like here we go again. They're going to re-release another new capsule and tell you it's a good thing. Obviously, I don't do capsules. The fucking system's shit. Having to trade NC for NC is dog shit. <laughs> like, hey, if you're chasing after these things, good for you. But it just, I just can't be fucked to care about this or give any money. All they do is re-recycle and re-recycle. And people just, for some reason, are going to buy it. They're, just, they're too in love with the game. They're just, they're in, you know, a codependent relationship with Neopets. So they just can't, they can't give it up. It is what it is. And like I suspected before... According to the Neopets Ambassadors Program Group, TNT has shared that the update below will be a full rotation of prizes except code stones. So if your weekly won't be finished before June 3rd, just get fucked. Like, just tap out. Whatever is what it is. <clears throat> so they're just fucking up the economy. I could go off probably for a while, but like, so one of the items that was here was the battle slot. Like, the update was recent too. I could go back and actually see when the actual recent one was. Nope. I'm going to claim that. I saw that. I'm like, I'll put that in the SDB. If I could just get the guide on Neo Jelly for it. There we go. When did they add these new prizes? Uh, I knew Lord Cast Stamp is on here. Not going to say it was updated, eh? That's fantastic. Um, May 9th, so we're, <laughs> May 9th, they updated this, so you had, you could have, like, gotten one, two, three, if you had got really lucky, I got 100k, like, four days in a row, I was never gonna do them anyways, but, so, back on to the quest log thing, uh, so this stamp dropped to 3 million, and now it's back up to 60, 70 million, I'm gonna guess, the same shit for the Lord Cast stamp. Maybe it's not as rare. People already got it. But 25 million, not surprising. I should actually check the auction house. Usually auction house gives you a relatively... Oh, wow. These people didn't know, but I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, man. It sucks for them. Um, the three stamp, right? Let's just see. How, how's this item doing? Two million. Let's take a quick peek here. Okay. People still posting. Not sure what's going on with the cheap prices, but... Reserve, 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 nothing. Alright, interesting. Anything else I want to check out here? I don't really care. All right, cool. So I found the actual price pool edition to be added here. How did this little thing go for this uh, black Elibus things? Okay, like so people like don't really know they're being updated. Out maybe who knows? I've gotten this offer like four times to me. Ugh. This is getting out of out of control here. <laughs> Drop down to seven, back to a hundred, baby. <clears throat> Some P3s. Everything else is going back up. It is what it is. Um, it wasn't the most exciting prize pool, but <clears throat> well, that went from 300k to 2 million. That's good to know. Sometimes these R99 just go up a lot because the requirements for the Jadora quest line. No one does ill anymore because that stats worth nothing. How'd this end up going? Kind of curious. This was obviously trying to get that stamp. 
All right, I, I've, I've rabbit trail too hard here. All right. And then, long story short, there. This is such a scam. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just almost did my. A new incentive to purchase an annual premium pass for seventy dollars U.S. <clears throat> has been announced. Starting through today through six, either new subscribers who choose the annual or existing one of four who upgrade to the annual plan will receive two thousand NC as a bonus. So you have a literal twenty third. <laughs> Two week period. It's funny because like I saw a post of a guy talking on Reddit that like he had bought this like literally four days ago and it's <laughs> he's like, Am I gonna get this? And to me it's such a funny scam because like you don't get it at one one time. So nothing like predatory, hey like how to keep people rope into a game. It feels like we're playing a shitty slot game here, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I think 600 NC is the exact price to buy the custom stylization kit. Granted, it stays at that price. So, getting three extra NCUCs, that's something, I guess. But, as important, there will not be a discount. <laughs> this bonus will not be available. There, <laughs> like... It's this. Is this like? Is this like? I don't get my money anymore. But do they not even reduce the price? It's like, hey, you're gonna get an extra twenty free bucks of NC. They're like, hey, by the way, just so you know, there's no fucking chance at a further update. So buy now. I'd like to save on the price. No. <laughs> this will be the. <laughs> will there be a discount? Our payment server needs to be upgraded before we implement another premium sale. <laughs> uh, X to fucking doubt. You still get similar value from the bonus. So they're trying to say like, instead of giving you a discount, they're going to give you NC instead. What a fucking scam. TNT has announced new premium perks and updates are coming. It's fucking been like 10 months, bro. Like, I don't fucking care anymore. Your chance to do shit to me is gone. We're working on this. <laughs> In the next few... Like, why do we need a few months to upgrade anything? Like, I, I bitch... Like, just give people... Every Sunday, they get a little prize thing. With, like, they get a fairy cookie. They can pick one or whatever. They get some... Fairy Fountain Quest, guaranteed to be a recall or something. They could just, I don't even care anymore to even give them excuses. They won't do shit. And I don't care about bullshit turning gray. I don't care because I'm an adult and I'm not a four-year-old who's like, Oh, wow, it turned gray and it has a little more like a shit streak. The part where there's been no actual, like, when they said it's going to last nine months, I bet you dumb fucks didn't expect that what they were talking about is they're going to change a color palette <laughs> across nine months and that counts as probably like this is probably like their weekly update for the game was to change one thing gray he added a new cipher uh this game is dog shit don't spend money here if you do lol anyway their whole like trying to be like hip and cool like there's that fucking meme of like the guy that gotta find that so yeah like every time i th look at neopets this is like how i think they're running the game it's like we got a guy who's 97 years old at like a middle school high school how do you do fellow kids it's like wh what are they fuck are they doing besides just ruining the game even further but i guess like i guess like the true the true spirit of tnt is like how hard can they fuck the game before people will like quit they're like we're gonna ruin the game just to find out where we can finally break the spirit of these players who've been playing for 5, 10, 15 years. Ah, oh, man. I just don't care if they like him, like, complain. Messi not coming to play in Vancouver with Suarez and... Who's the third guy? Booth Cats not coming. They're all just going to chill in Miami. <laughs> so many people got scammed out of tickets, but that's its own little side story. Um, people talking about it. This only has, uh, 80 upvotes. 
I'm glad to see they're getting way less upvotes on Reddit because people just don't play the... Just the interaction is just so low. Just They just can't... It, the engagement is so terrible because there's just nothing new, nothing exciting happening. This reads like they're adding and not removing. People just want shit, that's fine. I always love for them to update the prize pools and their dailies. Like, I mentioned that before. Also, the quest, Fish the Vortex. Like, guys, if we can truly lead them, which I don't, that if they can't even change how they charge you, they can't, like, they can't, if they can't fuck, if they can't fucking fuck up and change or adapt how to charge you money, I can, you can bet your left nut or ovary or whatever the fuck you got going on because you're from Crelador, but. If they can't fuck you financially, I can promise you they're not doing any changes to the game content. <laughs> like, oh. That's, that's hilarious. Like, they're so desperate to fuck up. They would all, they would out of their, like, the, the shot broke my camel's back when they removed the four month option. That's when I was like, I'm done. Nope. Like, we're not, I'm not doing that. I'll commit to three, four months of a game, but this one month for a dumb price or 12 months? No. Get fucked. So they can remove that option, <laughs> but then they can't fuck you or give a sale. Oh, I love it. What a dog shit company. Uh, like, the thing is, is, like, Dominic's terrible at any kind of, like, campaign or focus or, like, the game, they're, the stuff they add is dog shit, the code is dog shit, and, like, they both get to constantly blame each other. We're, like... Dominic gets to go like, oh, we have cool ideas, but there's bad coding. <laughs> so it's like this perpetual thing. We're like, the bad code is actually saving the game from Dominic fucking it even harder, which is just a, mwah, like another chef's kiss. It's just like, <laughs> the only thing saving us is the bad code. Like, isn't that ironic? <laughs> All right, I'll talk about that later in a second. Um... <clears throat> Ain't no way to keep the old prize pool for six and a half months. Like I said, like I, I, I've, I've come to choose war today, but like, so these are the ambassadors, and there's been many accusations that one person on this list specifically, if you go check out their gallery, they have really, really rare items, and they also have the items that got, there were I think two or three items that were part of the new weekly prize pool, and then they were added by mistake. And just by some circumstance, one of these names here has an item beforehand, and you couldn't you couldn't get it. <laughs> so these people have a lot more say in the game because Dominic doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Like the staff, like are like, well, we can't like we're out of ideas, guys. So that that Flanders meme, like we've tried nothing, we're all out of ideas. <clears throat> and once again, I love how like we've created this quasi like a uh, player oligarch thing, or like. These people who just play the game somehow get to further enrich themselves by knowing insider shit fucking the game, and people are fine with that. <laughs> All right. It is what it is. I don't give a shit. <sighs> is it just me? Nope, they're taking shit out. Like I said, you can look at the prices, guys. I've never been lucky enough to get. Yeah. Tacking on this, frankly speaking, this is the only way to make a truly stable economy. This is the only way. The only way. Oh my god. <clears throat> I have just so, like, like my brain, I'm having, like, I can't even think straight. Like, this is the only way. There is no other way. Like, there is nothing that could possibly do. Nothing. This is the only way. <laughs> no side feels cheated from overpaying. If you haven't seen where they're taking in and out the NCUCs you can buy, like, that's the only way they have any, like, way to, to fuck you into buying shit is that they keep taking shit out. They make it rare or limited. That way you feel like, if I don't get it now, I can't get it. That's how they constantly nickel and dime you. <clears throat> I'm of the belief that the perfect in between would be to have 100, 200 potential. Like, like I've said, and I could 
beat this fucking drum. They should have just made the prize pool the, the recycled capsule. That way we constantly get a certain number of R99s. Obviously, like I said, with the Food Club Botter getting all the prizes, the game just fucked anyways. But people having a chance, like if every third day you got a capsule, like, like I wouldn't do seven days. Every three days you get that recycled capsule, we have a 50% chance to get an R99, a random one. <clears throat> that way you can be poor as fuck, broke as fuck, and across probably a month you're going to get a couple R99s. That way it slowly brings down everything at a, at a stable, constant, slow rate, unless they fuck up the RNG or they, whatever the odds were. But one of those things where, like, that was a much better way. I bought a Lucha for to do one mil. <clears throat> like, like, I hate when people just lie. I bought a Lucha for one million, and I was stoked that people could get them, especially to pair to Lutart. I love when people just, like, have to go out here and, like, virtue signal it's like, Oh, like, I want you guys to know that I overpaid, and then like, I just, I'm just so happy we all get a share. It's like, <laughs> like, no. Like, no one in real life has that thing. Oh, hey, I bought my fucking car for $10,000, and now you can go get it for $1,000. I'm just so happy we can all get cars. It's like, maybe so fucking mad. You would be so mad. <clears throat> just a bad system, and where people just do the gymnastics... To it's a bad system and people just doing these backflips to like justify how it's a good thing. Because like, you know this person, because they said this, they'd be like, to take it to its like final form, just make everything in a shop for one MP. They're going to be like, this is a great addition, guys. This is, this is so much fun. Like, like we all going to be equal and have all the items. And they'd probably say that's super cool. Absolutely. Totally agree, dude. Especially some of the totally tier items. Just to reiterate, I'm not some baller with 50 paintbrushes but a pose of books. I'm certainly not one of those players. A long overdue re redistribution. Fuck, people are stupid. Give everyone enough of their drink. Uh, just... The rich get rich and the poor get poor, guys. It's like... <clears throat> Imagine you get a stimulus check for, you know, the coronavirus or Corona or call COVID-19. You got 60 bucks and then your, your friend who owns a company got 80 K bailout. You're going to be like, yeah, well, like it's a win, a win's a win, right? Like I got my 600, he got 80 grand. Like <laughs> I'm doing my part. Uh, I just can't even care. It's like. Ain't no way a nerd with farmers are gonna suck. Happy cake day, friend. People love the gamble. Oh boy. Don't be anything sketchy. Oh, so he's mad. It's kinda cute, I like that. Yeah. So at least this person understands what time it is. Don't say it feels very quick, just like you've had three weeks to get one of the 25 items and you wanted maybe six of them and you were still fighting the other 70 prizes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Haven't got a single thing yet. I will actually be a bit sad if they take out the new prizes already. I panicked and bought the most important thing. I'll get a few, I guess. I really need a Zvara. Yep, they're inflated. Kind of hope they'll add. <laughs> Everything goes up. So a lot of people understand, like, people, those cool nags, like, there's no real money dumps in the game. Like, for every hundred million that, like, people could get, those players are maybe spending one, two, three. It is what it is. Let's just see. Um, who else thinks the ambassadors are involved? I know we don't have any proof. And I'm giving too much credit to conspiracy theories, but this chaos is somewhat deceptible. What do you mean? Like, like we had, there was clear and verifiable proof that people knew it was people knew that the sap was not fully removed, that the odds had changed. 
before they announced it. So people had they dropped the sap dropped to like two three million quickly, and then it skyrocketed back up to like 50 85 that day, up to 85 basically back from two up to that high, and then they were reselling for like 170 like a day later, because the odds went from like one in a hundred to one in a thousand I think. So major net so the conspiracy theory that they haven't even named it basically <clears throat> it was very clear that people that were ambassadors were very upset they got told that they said that's not cool the odds change and then some players made over a billion mp no one got in trouble no one got punished no one got investigated like that's just the reality what happened and now we have this recent issue where there was a few items that got taken off of this new prize pool and there were lots of rumors talking about how a specific ambassador Kibosh those specific items. And now we've had these items all fucked again and we're reinflated back to fucking Narnia again. Major announcement the prices go insanely high and then resellers and some average lucky players are making insane amount of money. Also more than clarifications TNT should the ambassadors. So it's one of these things where like the ambassadors have far more say than we would assume a big company would have or that a, a competent company would have. But I don't think Dominic knows how to fucking handle a game or this fucked up economy and allowing so many bots to exist and trying to make money. Like, his goal is trying to make money. Like, they don't play the game for fun or enjoyment or they don't do trading. They don't, they don't do any of this bullshit. They don't do any testing. So they rely on these players who are just insanely selfish and self-serving. And that's what you get here. Is they have they're they're trying to ask these players who are loyal to the game for 15, 20 years. They they're acting as if the ambassadors are altruistic good people, and they're just like, hey, I'm a Neopets player. I'm gonna get mine. Like I'm gonna get the bag. It is what it is. Like I got this. I'm gonna use it. Ideally, like if I can make everyone happy, but if I also gotta get you know bonus on top, all right, that's fine. What are your theories if you have one? I want to hear your ramblings. Oh my. More upvotes and comments. Okay, this is getting a lot of reports. I want to comment. We do a lot of discussion, complaint, and criticism. This is not a space where we shut down concerns or delete. That isn't, I mean, that's exactly what this website literally is. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> Subreddit. The mod team see our players as well. <clears throat> What we don't allow is crossing on a personal tax. Well, shit, I already did that. Like accusation. Sometimes we proof. Anyway. <laughs> How the fuck is this attacking people? Oh, I mean, there's no evidence. We have proof that they are openly accusing a small group of doing. Looks like a shit. Smells like a shit. Floats like a shit. Would you eat it? No, because it's a shit. <laughs> it's a thing like TNT has run the game so fucking poorly. That like you have to do some serious stretching like. To fit in the box, to like, I'm ashamed of the mods. I'm ashamed that I was ever a mod of the subreddit. Oh my goodness, fuck me. We have, like, th these are the people that need we they get them the fuck out of here. Holy shit. And like, anyone who seeks to be a a free mod of, <laughs> oh oh man. Let's see what's going on. Sorry, I'm taking a rabbit trail here. All right. We have a cat. Who would have expected that? Requesting our no people do do. I'm just curious what this is going to say. <laughs> what? Okay. Requesting. All 
They've been on here for a long time. All right, like Jack of all trade. Louisville woman racist tirade at the Jefferson Mall. Yeah, well, that's what you expect on Reddit. Wow, 10 years old. Over 100. They're still going to be active. A 10 year old working link. Yeah, welcome to Neopets. <laughs> Uh, over at the beach is kind of fun. Yeah, well, they're we're trying to strike a balance between people are upset and want to have a conversation with the topic and keeping the peace with respect to our community rules. And lit are you like it's the thing where like if they're not gonna bitch here, they're just gonna go bitch on the Neocord or like some other Discord or Reddit or so like this magical thing. Uh, we're treating this how we treat Alice, for example. You're allowed to criticize Alice's actions and share anecdotes, but you're... She's a paid staff member, guys. You may not attack her personally. There is a difference. All right, I guess the mods can figure out when that happens. Moderators do not do more than remove and ban. All right. <clears throat> I understand... Sorry, I'm just I'm just too caught up in just like people are right admitting they have no evidence and no proof, but they're going to throw around. Like I said, like we live in a, a age of information, disinformation, misinformation. Too many things align clearly to be what we would call a coincidence. It, to me. It's like crazy incompetence or the ambassadors just have so much more control and say in certain things than we're going to be told. And TNT is too dog shit. They talk about transparency like it's a magical like buzzword and they don't say shit about nothing. <clears throat> this guy thinks he's like a fucking judge where we're like going to litigate and go to like a civil or like criminal court. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Like, do you think, like, so, like, let's take, like, an extreme example. Do you think, like, when someone has, like, a Me Too, they're like, we have no actual proof, guys. We're just having accusations. Until there's proof, this get the, like, ban this fucking post. Until we have verifiable proof of video evidence or text, and, like, we can prove it's actually not fabricated, ban. It's like, this is why I just can't, like, the internet's fucking the Wild West and crazy in this part. They're just so fucking hilariously dumb to me. Uh, they're admitting there's no evidence to support there like the evidence is that fucked up things are happening and why are they happening and at some point you're like okay the sap okay we would like just to run this back again to you guys day one there was a one in a hundred chance a one percent chance to get a sap the sap drops down down the two million mp <clears throat> there's a post on neo jelly saying hey it got removed and then, <clears throat> I forgot the exact timeline, I forget if they actually posted, but there's a post on Neo Jelly that <clears throat> they, they, they suspected or feared it was being removed, so then it skyrocketed back up, and then it got re-released like a short time later, hey, it's still in the prize pool, then obviously that was its own problem. I got lost in the sauce here, I'm just too focused, <laughs> trying to be like, the thing where like, why did the odds change from 1 in 100 to 1 in 1,000? There needs to be some kind of explanation. Because a lot of people seem to know what's happening and people made a lot of money. So then you have to go, okay, this is these are the things we know that happen. What's the best explanation for how it happened? And that's why we have this thing going on right now. <clears throat> well, it's like so not only are they rumors, they're nasty rumors about the ambassadors. <laughs> and then they name Hurdy. <laughs> it's just straight up bullying. It's sad to see you're being <clears throat> like this just goes to show like you can't have players with any kind of power in the game. It's just just so bad for the game because like this is how it always devolves. Like you just can't have players acting like yeah, it's just 
So frustrating. I can tolerate TNT messing up time and time again, but the response... <laughs> oh, I'm so tolerant. TNT can fuck the game. Downvote me regardless of what I say. Haters gonna hate. I never had a place for reasonable discussions. <laughs> Especially when the opinions are mad about something which people are entitled to feel how they feel, but I don't get the conspiracies. <clears throat> Many of them are my friends. Feels weird to me. I'm skeptical, especially right before a weekend. I don't know. The thing is, like TNT will not give you a clear answer, so we know. Like, it's one of these things where it's like it's just too much coincidence to have any faith in a company that talks about transparency, and they have a guy with thirty-five thousand bots, and they're like, "Well, we're looking into it. We've done nothing, but we're looking into it." By the way, don't believe Neo Truth, guys. <clears throat> okay. Is it an older post? Oh, this is the same post. <laughs> there it is. That's the true, yep. I'm not one for conspiracies, but it really does <clears throat> feel like the ambassador program has turned into insider trading program. Yep. It, like that seems pretty obvious to me. They run it by them, hey guys, like <clears throat> if TNT doesn't keep them accountable. Like, all players would do this. <clears throat> yep. There was a comment from Neo Jelly Hurdy last week that they knew three hours before it was posted publicly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wonder why they shared that like did they get caught or did someone say something that's kind of like why would they leak that's interesting to me like why wouldn't tnt do that right i was watching the inflation real time a trading post a few hours it's pretty sad yep <clears throat> oh we got negative comments holy shit Honestly, it doesn't surprise me at this point that TNT fucked up this bad. The entire reason it's about their program in the first place is because TNT doesn't have enough game knowledge <clears throat> on their own to know what's best for the players. Now they're trying to appease whichever voice is the loudest. That is... <clears throat> oh. This person, marry me. Such... Seeing such logic and just common sense, <clears throat> that's very nice. Neopets team wants to trick the whole community for a small amount of players and see how it works out for them. <laughs> That's, man, this is interesting. <clears throat> this should be the Tumble Squeeze all over again. Should extend the prize pool. Yep. Yeah, it's a, that's some side story. Dominic, yeah, just he's going to hide and they're going to have some random person host the thing again. I'm generally in favor of innocent until proven guilty. It's, this isn't about a court of law. This is like something doesn't make sense and I would like an explanation. And if I don't get one, I'm going to make some fucking broad assumptions and I'm going to not be happy. <clears throat> like, I'll choose not to assume the worst. However, like... <laughs> It's, I'm not racist, but let me tell you a few things. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Like, whenever, whenever you have a however, but, like, yeah. There's clear evidence of TNT to share information with the ambassadors before everyone else. They're fine. <laughs> they literally answered their question. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm, until, like, it's one of these things where, like, what is your standard for believing something or believing that it's high, very likely that it's going on? <clears throat> it's one of these things where, like, how often could you actually prove someone, like, had an affair with you? Like, like, could you actually prove it without them, like, just saying they did it? Like, could you ever prove it? Outside of like there being a kid or something. It's like, I couldn't physically prove this tax they hung out, but could I prove they did it? It's like, no, I can't. Like, it was... But I'll make some 
fucking assumptions about them not living up to their standard and trust and expectations or something like that. It's like piss poor communication. Like that, that's just that's too soft. <clears throat> P gate literally happened. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Because I'm a boomer, I, I, I you're just that old dot. What? Oh, because I have HTTP. <laughs> Why will you not just refresh the way I want? Oh my goodness! All right, there it loaded. Here's this post. I've already gone over like twice before. Well, I had a stroke. I was trying to recall it before. Here's a timeline. <clears throat> All right. They released the SAP. SAP going for 20 million last night. Sure things happened. Certain bastards were bidding on the attack. These price at 80 million. So you're going, hey, it's what's 1%. It's a 1% chance. And it's going for 20 million. Sorry. Like I said two is worth 20. <clears throat> I know someone who bought it for two. I think that's what I fucked up myself. <clears throat> but then I'm like, hey, <clears throat> these ambassadors... <clears throat> Are spending way more on the actual thing. Got the 80 million. In the meantime, it's important. Jelly Neal posted the attack P may have been taken on the price pool, which helped further inflate it. So, in case you can't follow this very clearly, it's going for 20 million. For some reason, ambassadors are spending 80 million. Then there's a post saying, hey, we think it's not there. Some people are like, it's removed. People go, oh shit, if I don't get it now, it's going to be way more expensive in the future. So, if I, if I buy it now for 180, it's even cheaper than I would have paid whatever. All right. Certain ambassadors confirmed that a group of ambassadors reached out to TNT saying the SAP should be removed. So that was, yeah. So like they confirmed it themselves because of Jelly News post <clears throat> was removed. It drove the price up. The ambassador, the staff were bidding, <laughs> and Jelly News staff, they were confirmed to do this. Yeah. And they flipped for 350. So they're turning 80 million. So like literally 200 million, just like that. Dominic just says, hey. That's cool. We, that's, that's fine. We know what happened. We're okay with it. We have to, like, the ambassadors are really good for the program or for the game. All right. Call on Reddit. They removed the notice of the SAP. They removed hours after this. They Like, once they had sold all their SAPs, easy peasy. On the boards, it turned out, yeah, they got, shit got heavily censored. And then, this gets more publicity. It's a video. Probably going to click that. I will not share the info without your attention. It's like people were named. Like there's there's screenshots and shit all around it. All right. You guys want to watch this? <clears throat> I did think I'd see my own screenshot. <laughs> You're a fucking hero. Obviously, I don't know if there's any fair use of this video, so I'm just gonna. Maybe I'll link it in my video. Below. Yeah, I, I think I'll link it in my video. I'll we'll link it in the comments down below if you get this far. But anyways. All right, we're going to wrap it up here pretty soon. I don't know what time of base things inflate. Price pool. I'm suspicious ambassadors are what makes prices look crazy. <clears throat> so a lot of, like, when they had full information they gouge the fuck out of the sap prices and people are giving too much credit to ambassadors like so say they're like look at the, the new coconuts that came out they were all inflated from like a million or 1.2 to like five all they have to do is just buy the 50 million so let's say they buy 50 coconuts or 50 million once the regular players who inflate or gouge or want to call it they will they will set the price way more expensive as long as you buy before it gets inflated by the reinflators, you're going to make that money. All they have to do is buy. Hey, I bought these for $1 million each. I spent 50 Now they're worth $5 million each. So that I turned that $5 million or $50 million into $250 million. So I made $200 million profit by just buying before the inflators went and did, you know, the inflation, gouging. A lot of people think they're not... They're not the heavy lifters or the big market movers. If you just, it's like, if all of a sudden you knew today that Bitcoin cost $1, but it was going to cost $8 in two months, you'd be like, yeah, I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of it right now. <laughs> just, okay, easy peasy. And I know, like, I'll sell it in the future. <clears throat> 
But if you told all your friends to buy Bitcoin, like, hey, you would like your eight family members all bought Bitcoin this exact same day, and then this is when you... Interesting. So, yes. Hopefully, like, you assume people who played a game for 15 years and are, like, 30 years old aren't dumb enough to get caught with their hand in the cookie jar. <clears throat> TNT gives users something nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just very, it's just a bad program. Here's longer comment if you want to read and pause. Um, if you can't beat them, join them. Exactly, like, they're just getting a whole bunch of fucking... The rich get richer and the poor get poor and the boss keep botting. Interesting they actually name names. I want to see some more negative comments. Yeah, it's hard to have faith in a broken system. We have no way of knowing how much time has passed in question. <clears throat> Like Fox Mulder said, guys, the truth is out there. Oh, yes, one in 10,000. I got that wrong, too. Shit, that was so rare. Was it 10,000? Ah, I don't remember exactly. No, it was one in 10,000 because there's even like 30, 40 out of the day. There was a post, I think, that I talked about. There was like 2,000 out of the game. Uh, this guy really can't handle this. I admit... There's no evidence to support, but I'm going to continue to accuse smuggler players of wrongdoing. Yeah, I'm certain this person lives up to this expectation and standard all the, all the time. All right. Anything else cool to talk about here? <clears throat> Just another day, TNT fucking up the game. Yeah, cool little tattoo here. <clears throat> I don't think this thing looks like Neopets, so I don't really like it, but... It is what it is. Have fun. All right. Don't drop, don't drop the soap. And if you do, you know, <laughs> they'll bend and snap. All right. Take care.